Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, December 5th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I keep opening and expanding deeper into understanding. And today I was going to do a write-up and I was like, oh, this astro is blah. I need to... Uh, I need to go on camera. Well, not on camera since that's not easy right now, but I need to do a video. So here I am and I just realized that I lost my little write-up that I had sitting next to me. So we'll see how I do with this. Um, oh my goodness, this astro today. Today is one of those days where you're probably not going to want to stay in bed, but it may be one of those days where it's better to stay in bed. Venus is feeling some challenges today. We have the moon squaring Venus. And we have Mars in conjunct Venus today. And then we have Ven Venus trying Neptune. So even though the trine is supportive, there's still like in this collective, there's definitely a lot of energies coming up and through for Venus to process. I mentioned it a few weeks ago, like something about this year 2020 has really been Venus shifty, <laughs> um, full of challenges. And I think this is as, you know, Venus is rising um, the yin energy is coming back to the surface that we're having to face karmic energies, past energies that have been challenging. So I was like, well, what's one of the most Venusy yin places for me uh, in the house for me to record? And I just love this little setup I have here. I love this light. I love the pink candle, the crystals I have here, my diffuser. I love having the diffuser on the purple light. It just feels very soothing to me. So I hope it's soothing to you. Okay, so let's talk about some of this Venus energy. So Venus in conjunct Mars. The in conjunct is definitely challenging. Um, I always say in conjunct is where we're just not able to see eye to eye. So we have Venus in Scorpio and Venus in Scorpio is willing to go deep. We have Mars in Aries. Mars has been in Aries since what, like June? <laughs> for so long. And Mars in Aries is kind of ready for a fight. It's not necessarily wanting to do the deep work. It's not really necessarily wanting to look at the shadow. It just wants to act and react. So Venus, we want Venus actually to be the leader. We want to listen to our intuition. And yet Mars in this case is just ready for knee jerk reaction, go to war, fight it, ask questions later. And Venus in Scorpio is like, no, 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 <laughs> wait. There are things that we need to look at. And so again, we really want to go back to that mantra, being open to understanding, being open to deeper energies. And it may be that the yang has to, has to go off, you know, and we have to allow it and then let it come around to ask the questions. So do be very aware of that Venus energy. I would also say that Venus connecting to Neptune, Venus is very aware of any illusions, <laughs> any deeper past life connotations that are going on in this. And again, Mars isn't really connecting into that energy, you know? So Mars isn't aware, hey, wait, there's deeper patterns, there are deeper energies going on here. So do keep that in mind. Again, tuning into your inner yin <laughs> can really support the process so that you're just not going off like a volcano in this energy. Then we have the moon, the moon in Leo, which will be It'll be trining Mars and it'll be squaring that Venus energy. So the trine to Mars, again, fire energy may stimulate those volcanoes. It may stimulate the going off. It may stimulate the action, ask questions later. And with that squared Venus, again, Venus may not be being heard. The yin may not be being heard. The intuition may not be being heard. And there, this could even bring up like, worth stuff for Venus, <laughs> of course, inner child stuff coming up. I know that's one of my big inner child things, like not being heard. So, or not being heard, not being understood. So you may find some of those energies coming up with that. So fairly challenging, you know? And yet with the awareness, what can we do with it? I do have to say I have this card, the harmony card in reverse. So I think we all have to work to really find a place where we have our hearts and minds in alignment Again, with this awareness, really listening to your intuition, listening to that yin and being aware that it may be very tempting to go off like a volcano. <laughs> um, speaking of volcanoes and going off, we also have the sun and the moon connecting to start the day. So the sun in Sagittarius, moon in Leo. This is fiery. Again, it can be creative, fun, impulsive, 
impulsive good, impulsive bad, I don't know. You know, again, this could feed into that volcano type of feeling or just the going off, the not stopping and thinking. Although it's a happy, easy connection, fiery nature, fire can change, you know, in a heartbeat, you know, it goes from being like this docile um, pit fire into a forest fire. So do be aware of that fire energy in the background. Last thing to mention in this, whew, uh, we're building to a connection between Uranus and Mercury. And anytime Uranus and Mercury connect, it's highly electrical, highly mental. So we'll have that on Sunday. But if you are uh, sensitive to Uranus energy, sensitive to the electrical energy, sensitive to overstimulation feelings or over, over mental energies, this may be also coming in and can also lead to those knee jerk, elbow jerk reactions. <laughs> so awareness of super strong reaction energy through this. And yet if we can listen to and honor the yin, there's a lot of power, potential power, and a lot of potential shift in this. I also want to say we're also finishing up the Saturn, uh, Saturn, Jupiter, and Capricorn energies, and they're getting closer, closer, closer. So, you know that song, Insta Karma, Instant Karma? Like, I kind of am feeling that too. So again, we want to be aware of those knee-jerk reactions because you may get a knee-jerk reaction right on back. So... At the top of the cards, I have the playfulness card, and that is the sun in Sagittarius, moon in Leo, playfulness. But we really do want to hold space for that understanding and see if we can find that balance, see if we can find that harmony within ourselves. Try not to get over thinky, over thoughty in these energies. Rather, really listen to your intuition, connect in to source, be aware of any survival stuff coming up, those fears coming up, feeding into knee jerk reactions consciousness sorry i know the cards are a little weird to see right now but consciousness will be our best friend in and through this so that is it for today hope you feel yinny and if you need to stay in bed please stay in bed have a catter day <laughs> um you can book a reading with me email me mimi clark at gmail.com besides that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power always and do stay open and curious namaste